Hello everyone and welcome to our training session. I'm Christy Meacham and joining me is John Bird. We are both with Equipment Controls Company, better known as ECHO. Today we'll be bringing you up to date on news about the Pietro Fiorentini Governor gas regulators. In the next 30 minutes, we will provide you with basic information on the Pietro Fiorentini or the PF Governor regulators that will help better serve your customers as you work with them on optimal mechanical system designs. We hope you find this information useful and to the point. Normally, we would like to visit you in person and present this training session to you in a lunch and learn or some other personal setting. However, COVID-19 has made that difficult for us at best. And even though some states have eased on the sheltering guidelines, it's not really clear when situation will allow us to visit each of you in person again. So today we're coming to you virtually for this training and we hope you find it useful. John, do you wanna take a few minutes and give a brief history about our company, Equipment Controls? For over 55 years, Equipment Controls has been focused on delivering innovative solutions driven by the challenges our customers face every day. We take really great pride in providing customer satisfaction with professionalism, ethical standards, and exceptional product knowledge. In 2019, Gasco out of Indiana joined the ECHO team, and in 2020, High Desert Sales Team in Utah came aboard. Now both are part of Equipment Controls Company. ECHO represents and distributes quality products from established manufacturers such as Pietro Fiorentini, who we're here to talk about today, Census, Romet, and Sensit, and many, many more. Headquartered in Norcross, Georgia, ECHO is one of the largest North American distributors of gas measurement products, gas control products, and data acquisition products. ECHO currently has office and warehouse locations in Houston, Texas, Noblesville, Indiana, and Salt Lake City, Utah, with sales offices in Cumming, Georgia, Charleston, West Virginia, Walker, Louisiana, Chicago, Illinois, and Grand Rapids, Michigan. But Christy, before we consider the Pietro Fiorentini governor gas regulators in our marketplace, I think it's really important to understand a bit of history of the evolution of the governor regulator in this market. About 15 years ago, Pietro Fiorentini, headquartered in Northern Italy, was firmly entrenched in the gas industry in Europe and Asia Pacific. Part of their success was the rapid acceptance of the relatively new governor line of regulators. They decided, based on their success with the products thus far in Europe, that it was time to enter the US market with these products. It was at this point that a company, ECHO, came into the picture. And ECHO convinced PF management that the product needed to flow to the customer through well-established distributors in the US and Canada. A partnership was established, and to this day, ECHO continues to serve as PF's North American master distributor. Along the way, we've been able to foster some really great relationships with distributor partners for the North American market. Growth in the U.S. and in Canada has been steady and very aggressive. In fact, growth has been so strong that in 2013, Pietro Fiorentini established a production facility in the leased building in Wheeling, West Virginia, in order to satisfy the increasing demand. Growth escalated, and in 2017, PF broke ground on their new permanent production facility in Weirton, West Virginia. And we are pleased to announce that in July 2019, PF USA opened the facility for full production. We are very proud to let you know the products we provide you are made in the USA by American workers. So let's take a quick visit to the Pietro Fiorentini's USA manufacturing facility in Weirton, West Virginia. When we return from the video, we will be back at our studio where we begin to discuss the specifications and benefits of the individual products in this great lineup. Enjoy your trip to Weirton and we'll see you again in a couple of minutes. Pietro Fiorentini, passion for excellence achieved through efficiency. Pietro Fiorentini is a global leader, manufacturing a complete range of solutions for oil and gas streams with the goal of increasing its safe usage by distributors and consumers with continuous improvement. 
Our vision of always looking towards the future has made us an innovator in the production and advanced solutions for natural gas exploration, transmission and distribution with facilities located all over the world. Here in Weirton, West Virginia, Pietro Fiorentini opened its first permanent manufacturing operation in the United States to produce gas pressure regulators and governors. The property covers 32 acres and the current factory has room for two further expansion opportunities. Our industry leading production lines are designed and assembled by our workforce based on product demand to maximize efficiency and ensure safety. Working at PFUSA I've found is a very unique and rewarding experience as the first manufacturing facility in the U.S. for PF Group established in 2013. We face many of the challenges typical to a young organization, uh, but at the same time we have the opportunity to leverage many of the strengths and resources of our parent company. Uh, in my work, for example, being able to lean on the long-established uh, international supply chain and logistics networks developed by PF Group over the years is tremendously helpful and allows us to maximize the value that we deliver to our customers. In Weirton, we are continuing our investment in the area and its people by hiring locally from production to management. What excites me most about working with PFUSA is the opportunity to work with an up-and-coming company and an amazing team. West Virginia has been an integral part of helping PFUSA achieve its vision in the United States. Why West Virginia? A lot of people is asking why we picked this uh, location. Actually, the level of support that we got by the state and local authority was great uh, in helping us creating jobs. And uh, Pietro Fiorentini is uh, willing and committed to invest more in a market that is strategic for our growth, a market that is demanding high performance and quality products. State-of-the-art performance, our aim. West Virginia, our choice. Okay, welcome back to our studio. John and I will now give you a more up-close and hands-on look at our PF Governor family of regulators. So the PF family of regulators are designed to comply with the latest CSA and international standards for regulators suitable for indoor and outdoor installations with no modification. So our regulators are suitable for residential, commercial, and industrial applications. And they're capable of using LPG, natural gas, propane, and other non-corrosive dry gases. We have a regulator that's equipped with a balanced valve design for improved high outlet pressure accuracy, regardless of the inlet pressure variation. And we have a safety diaphragm with an integral vent limiter that provides added safety and security. We're CSA certified with an external vent limiter that reduces piping costs and the vent piping for indoor installations where a code allows. And we have a high range of high capacity regulator options that sometimes eliminates the need for separate units and can significantly reduce the cost of installation. So there are two regulator standards that we really need to focus on right now. One is the line pressure regulator standard versus the appliance regulator standard. The current standards for appliance regulators are ANSI Z21.18, CSA 6.3, while the line pressure regulator standards are ANSI Z21.80, CSA 6.22. So historically, appliance regulators were used as line pressure regulators before ANSI Z21.80, and CSA 6.22 was developed and established. With the implementation of the newer and revised standards, appliance regulators should no longer be used as line pressure regulators. And this rule has been confusing given that many longtime favored appliance regulators were actually used as line pressure regulators. So let's explain Z21.80. It's the standard for line pressure regulators intended for the application in gas piping systems. So as of May 1st, 2002, CSA requires that all line pressure regulators above two PSI must leave the factory pre-assembled and leak tested. As supply pressures in excess of two PSI, the line regulator standard requires a means, an overpressure protection device, an OPD, that's approved and tested with the regulator to limit downstream pressure to a two PSI maximum in the event of a regulator failure. So what does the International Fuel Gas Code say about line pressure regulators? 
410.1 pressure regulators of the International Fuel Gas Code says, a line pressure regulator shall be installed where the appliance is designed to operate at a lower pressure than the supply pressure. Line gas pressure regulators shall be listed as complying with ANSI Z21.80. So with these standards defining the manufacture and the installation of gas regulators, let's review the PF family that entirely meets these requirements. So let's start with the PF400. The PF400 comes in two sizes. The standard model, which I'm holding here, used for inlet pressures between 14 inches of water column and up to two PSI. We also have an overpressure device model, the PF400DC or dual cut, which is shown in the image and is capable for up to 10 PSI inlet pressure. Pietro Fiorentini's PF400 line of gas regulators are designed to comply with the latest CSA and international standards for regulators suitable for indoor and outdoor installations with no mo modifications. The PF400 family of regulators are ideal for a wide range of applications. The materials and soft parts used in the construction of the PF400 regulators make them suitable for use with natural gas, LPG, propane, air, and other non-corrosive gases. All PF400 regulators can achieve high outlet pressure accuracy regardless of the inlet pressure variation. The external vent limiter reduces piping costs and the need for costly vent piping for indoor installations and complies with CSA guidelines. This model provides bubble tight lockup, a variety of spring options for different outlet pressures, and it comes with an inlet dirt filter. It is appropriate for both indoor and outdoor use. The second model in the PF400 family is our dual cut model. Because this unit has an overpressure protection device, it is CSA certified for up to 10 PSI of inlet pressure. As shown in the picture, the dual cut regulator is a two-bodied regulator setup installed and tested at the factory. The first regulator body, the first cut, reduces the inlet pressure down to 1.7 PSI. It passes the 1.7 PSI of pressure onto the downstream worker regulator, which then second cuts the pressure down to whatever the appliance requires. Should the worker regulator fail, the first cut regulator has already reduced the pressure below the two PSI maximum limit set by the standard, and therefore we meet the CSA requirement for OPD. So with this model, dual cut, in the event of a failure, the pressure safely remains under two PSI as required, and therefore is a CSA certified overpressure protection device. John, let's look at some of the larger regulators in the PF line. Okay, so moving upwards in the PF governor line, there are three additional models to consider. The standard governor model, the OPD or overpressure device model, and one additional overpressure device model are dual cuts. And we'll discuss the features of each model as we move forward. Christy, do you wanna start with the standard model? Sure. The standard governor regulator comes in nine different line sizes starting at half inch up to the four inch pipe size. Note that the two and a half inch, three inch and four inch models are flange connections. The smaller models are national pipe thread or NPT connections. Some key features to note, this model has both an integral vent limiter and an external vent limiter. The models are CSA rated, two PSI units, but are capable of up to 7.25 PSI for non-CSA applications. These units also provide the bubble tight lockup. They have a 500 to one turn down ratio and an inlet dirt filter. A wide variety of spring options are available. And again, these models are rated for indoor and outdoor use. So as we mentioned earlier, there are two different methods to achieve overpressure protection in the PF lineup. The first method we've named the OPD model in the OPD model, you'll notice that there's a copper sensing line connecting the worker regulator, the regulator on the right, 
to the monitor regulator on the upstream side. This sensing line allows the monitor regulator to regulate based on the pressure on the outlet side of the worker regulator. If this worker regulator is set to seven inches of water column, the monitor is set at 12 inches of water column in this case. The full inlet pressure of 10 PSI enters the monitor regulator and passes directly to the worker regulator. Because this monitor is set at 12 inches of water column, but it's sensing seven inches of water column, so the monitor remains wide open. It's almost as if it doesn't exist. This worker regulator reduces this 10 PSI of pressure down to seven inches and sends that seven inches of water column downstream to our appliance. If the worker regulator were to fail, the monitor regulator will instantly sense the increase in pressure and it will begin regulating to the pressure it was set for, 12 inches of water column. The system remains safely under two PSI as required by CSA specifications. The second method we use to achieve overpressure protection is our dual cut method. It works the exact same way that Christy described earlier in the PF400 model. So again, this is a two-bodied regulator system. We have a worker and a monitor. The monitor regulator does the first cut of pressure down to 1.7 PSI, passes that pressure onto the worker regulator. That second cuts the pressure down to the pressure required by our appliance downstream. And so again, as Christy described, we are safely under the two PSI required by the standard and this passes as an overpressure device. Now that we have been introduced to this PF regulator line and the standards that drive our specifications, let's cover the benefits of what makes our PF line unique in the market. John, will you cover some of those unique features? Yes, yeah, so Christy, though, before we jump into each individual model, let's cover what's common across the whole family. So again, as we just discussed, governors are ANSI Z21.80, CSA 6.22 certified line pressure regulators. We're approved for all sizes from half inch to four inch and for vent limited operation. We're approved for inlet pressures up to 10 PSIG, remembering that anything over two PSI requires overpressure protection. There's no difference in the flow rates for single appliances or for multiple appliances on the system. And we're also approved under ANSI Z21.18 and CSA 6.3 as an actual appliance regulator. So now we can discuss some of the unique benefits of these PF products. One of the key benefits is the fact that these are very high performance regulators. One of the ways we achieve this high level of performance is the fact that we used a balanced valve design. And the advantages of the balanced valve design versus an unbalanced valve design. In an unbalanced valve, by increasing the inlet pressure, there's a shift in the set point of the outlet pressure. And the difference or variation between the minimum and maximum of the inlet pressure change, the greater this potential deviation is downstream and potentially a greater impact downstream. A balanced valve design, we actually use the inlet pressure to operate the regulator. The balanced valve is designed so the balancing piston creates the same and opposite force created by the inlet pressure. Since these surfaces are equal, the two forces neutralize each other under all inlet pressure conditions. When increasing the inlet pressure, there's a minimal negligible shift of the set point. The balancing system makes the regulator insensitive to inlet pressure variation, allowing the spring to control the regulator's outlet pressure, providing a smooth and consistent gas flow downstream. We have higher capacities. The governor has no single unit capacity limitations. We have a greater accuracy in response to inlet and outlet pressure variations and flow rate variations. We have a 500 to one turndown ratio, the best in the industry. We use a lighter spring for better outlet pressure control, and you can install these regulators in multi-position, either horizontal or vertically. So an even better benefit perhaps is the venting options we provide. The governor regulators come equipped with two vent limiter technology standard with each model. The first limiter is the integral vent limiter. It is internal in the regulator, non-removable and tamper-proof. The second vent limiter is the external vent limiter. John, why don't you cover the internal vent limiter? So Christy, the governors are actually a dual diaphragm regulator for increased safety. And the regulator's integral vent limiter is a key component of this dual diaphragm system. The units are equipped with a working diaphragm 
indicated here by the blue arrow, and a safety diaphragm indicated by the yellow arrow. The integral vent limiter is a tiny relief hole in the safety diaphragm. Should the working diaphragm fail, the backup safety diaphragm prevents the rapid release of gas to the exterior of the regulator. The integral vent limiter allows a slow and safe release of gas to the external vent port. And these two things work in tandem together, providing a safe CSA compliant system. And Christy will review that external vent limiter with you now. All governors come equipped with a brass external vent limiter shown here on the upper left. This vent limiter comes installed in the vent port from the factory. The brass limiter is used only for indoor installations. It is a simple ball check valve. Should the gas make its way to the vent port, this does not happen during normal operations, as John just mentioned. The integral vent limiter is already activated and restricting gas flow in the event of a working diaphragm failure. As gas makes its way to the external vent port, pressure will build to the point where this pressure is strong enough to lift the ball from its seated position to an open position, allowing the gas to escape via the vent holes. When the pressure subsides enough, the ball will return to its seated position. Christy, just a quick note on that. The CSA specifications allow for a maximum vent release of 2.5 cubic feet per hour for natural gas and one cubic foot per hour for propane. The governor, rate, the governor regulators are rated at 0.8 cubic feet per hour, well within the standard. If this regulator is to be installed outdoors, the brass limiter is removed and replaced with this green plastic cap. The cap protects the vent from rain, snow, and ice outdoors. This green cap ships loose in each regulator box along with complete installation instructions. We offer a 90 degree vent adapter, which can be used when the regulator is installed in any position other than horizontal. The image shown has the regulator installed in vertical position. Remember, the brass limiter is a ball check valve. It operates with gravity, and this limiter must always be level to the ground and facing the sky. We accomplish this by using our 90 degree vent adapter as shown. The contractor could fashion their own adapters from risers and elbows they have on hand. However, our adapter makes this simpler and more convenient for them to use. Christy, it's important to note that even though we have these two great vent limiting options, the installer could also run a traditional vent line if they choose to. Exactly. So another great cost saving feature that contractors and installers really appreciate are the integral test ports built into our governor regulators. These pre tap ports allow the installer to drill a 1 8 inch hole in each port and attach their manometer. A manometer is just a gas pressure measuring instrument to measure both inlet and outlet pressure at the regulator. These ports eliminate the need for installing testing points on the actual piping system itself. Another added feature is the ability to install a pressure gauge to either the inlet or outlet port on the regulator or both. I've been working with these governor regulators since 2008, and so we thought we would share some of the more common questions that we frequently hear ever since we began working with this product. So let's go sit down and review a few. So Christy, again, these are questions we get every day, and one of the most simple ones is, can I use these regulators outdoors? Yes, these regulators are rated for indoor and outdoor use. Okay, another one again that pops up every day is, what's this little green plastic cap for? The green cap is a protective weather shield for the vent port when the regulator is installed outdoors. Remember, the brass vent limiter must be removed and the green cap installed for the weather protection. Okay. What happens when a customer loses this? It happens all the time. Call us, we have them in stock. They do come in two different sizes, so check your regulator for that size replacement. Okay, a little trickier one than some of those questions that we get an awful lot. Let's, just, let's suppose we have a customer that has a five PSI system, but is installing the regulator outdoors. Does he really need a dual cut model? Not necessarily. Outdoor installations are non-CSA and therefore not subject to OPD requirement. 
Our standard regulators are capable of up to 7.25 PSI inlet pressure and may work for this application. If you're unsure, give us a call. Okay, that sounds fair. Uh, so we all know and COVID-19 uh, has really engaged American companies to take a look at their supply chain. And it's becoming more and more important for our customers to have products that are made in the USA. So are these regulators made in the USA and do they meet the Buy America Act? Yes, the regulators are manufactured and we're in West Virginia by American workers. Okay, and the last and most important question, where can I buy a governor regulator? Governor regulators are widely stocked by our distributors and they're in every geographic region of North America. So feel free to contact an authorized distributor near you or call us at ECHO 1-800-554-1036. And in addition to these frequently asked questions, a great source to find other answers and additional questions or troubleshooting is one of our websites, www.linepressureregulator.com. Let us give you a brief glimpse at some of the tools on the website. So we'd like to introduce you to our website that's full of useful tools. This is linepressureregulator.com. And typically what you'll see when you visit this site is new updated information regarding the product family. For example, one of the newest products in our family is the PF400 that we just introduced to you. And here you can see it on the screen for additional information. So as new products come out, you'll see them here. But one of the most powerful pieces of this website is this engineering resources section highlighted here. We have sizing programs, governor capacity charts, governor product bulletins, which are brochures, installation instructions, warranty coverage, conversion factors in the gas world, definitions in the gas industry, fun gas facts, uh, certificates, ANSI standards. If you are very interested in the ANSI standards that we discussed, you can read the full text of them here our CSA certification certificate, and the vent limiter CSA supplement. So very strong engineering tools for all of our customers, newly updated information regarding the Governor line of products. This is linepressureregulator.com. So and lastly, there is a wealth of product literature, including a full family brochure for you to download as needed from linepressureregulator.com. Or again, like you said, don't hesitate to call us. From all of us here at Equipment Controls Company, we thank you for your time today and hope to be able to visit you again in person soon. Take care.